One of the great things about being a scientist is making a discovery. You know, before becoming a scientist, I would learn these scientific facts in textbooks. And now being able to make discoveries that could maybe be in future textbooks is just something that's really cool and I probably never would have dreamed about as a little girl. I study biology, specifically what cells do during development. And in my research, I ask two main questions. One, how do cells decide what they're gonna be when they grow up? And two, how do they change their shape accordingly? I study this process using transparent microscopic worms called C. elegans. Because these worms are transparent, we can study the cell shape changes happening in real time. The cell shape change that I study is really important for development of the human brain and spinal cord. A lot of our genes have equivalents in worms, and a lot of the cell changes that happen during our own development happen in these worms as well. Studying this in worms can help us better understand when this process goes wrong in humans, which can lead to conditions such as spina bifida. How can embryos inside that are the same shape as the eggs? What initially drew me to science is just the passion of discovery, but along the way I developed this deep love for mentoring. So I earned the title of lab mom before I even became a real mom. <laughs> Not a regular lab mom, I'm a cool lab mom. <laughs> I know what it feels like to feel like you don't belong in science, and so I try to capture people at that stage and show them that science is for them, too. Even more exciting than my own thrill of discovery is watching that discovery through my son's eyes. What do you see in there? The worms. You see the worms? There's a worm. Before he could even walk, I was holding him up to look in the microscope, and so I love sharing my science with him and seeing his eyes glow. Are you a scientist? Yeah. Cool. Very recently, I questioned whether I could do a good job at being a mom and a scientist. I think in part the imposter syndrome plays into that, but I try to remind myself that I'm serving as a role model for following my dreams. You know, if I count myself out, then what message does that send to other girls and women who have dreams of starting a family and being a scientist? Don't let others, including yourself, stop you from following your dreams. Mm -hmm.